When you think of the NFL, you think of big, tall athletes. They have the entire package going for them. But Andrew Hawkins of the Cleveland Browns is a player who isn't tall, but he has found that he can be a blessing just by being the little guy. I can say when I was in high school and I was, you know, kind of the same way I got to the NFL, I was trying to, you know, grind and, and try to get someone to give me a scholarship and, you know, I, I couldn't get any and it was like, I never had something I wanted so bad that I had no control over getting and then, you know, I can remember a song came on and the lyrics said, you know, don't get, disturb don't, don't get discouraged, God has not forgot. If he said that he'll do it, you know it'll come to pass. God has not forgotten. It hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm 17 years old. I just start crying in the car, you know, and I had a, a couple of offers from some smaller schools and I went into school and I told the coach I'm not going to him. I'm going to take a chance on myself. And, you know, I ended up going to a camp and a couple months later and ended up earning four Division I scholarships. That was right my defining moment where I, where I knew, okay, God is in control of this. So no matter what happens, I know that this isn't by chance. You know what I mean? It was, it was kind of my first time I felt like God actually spoke to me. And, um, you know, it's been more of the same ever since. You know, I've had a lot of obstacles, me being a smaller player, you know, I think I'm the smallest wide receiver in the NFL, and I've never been the type of person that like, oh, I wish I was taller, that's never been me. You know, because I, I, I do know the Bible, I've read the Bible for a long time, you know, my, my parents have instilled it since I was young, and, you know, I would read stories like David and Goliath, and, and Joseph, and you name it, and God shows up with people who are underdogs, you know what I mean? So from an early age, I kind of look, looked at that as a sign that God was going to be with me. Obviously, the way I got here is, you know, one in a million, you know, and the odds were extremely stacked against me. You know, I think things like Chaplin and, you know, the walk with God is the only thing that gets me through. This year has been, you know, even though I've, I signed a, a, the biggest contract I ever have this offseason, but I can honestly say it's been one of the most uh, stressful environments for me because you're going to a new team. You're trying to fill up, you know, live up to expectations and you don't want to let anybody down. Daily, you know, I have to be in my Bible. Daily, I have to read my devotion. You know what I mean? Every, I got to make sure I'm in, in chapel, not just, you know, not like as a good luck charm, but I need it on a daily basis because, you know, that much pressure, it's hard for you to sleep. If I was 6'1 and doing the things that I'm doing now, it would be harder to believe that it was all God. You know, had I got drafted out of college, had I not went and worked at a factory, been a caddy, had to do a reality show, CFL, the improbability of it is what makes it easy for when I tell people that I give all glory to God because he's the one who did it for me. It makes it easier to believe. Had I been 6'1", you know, someone would just say, oh, you're just a, you know, a big, tall, freakish athlete. You know what I mean? So I believe that everything happens for a reason. I think that's, you know, that's the reason why God has made me the way he is. You know, Matt, I love Andrew's story, how he says he's glad that he wasn't 6'1". It wouldn't be as believable, but such a great football player. But the interesting thing is he said he wouldn't want his son to be a football player. Yeah, it's true. In an online article, he said he'd rather his son be a math wizard than a football star. He wants his son to have a strong faith in God and a great college education. I know that's a goal many of us have for our children. And uh, But yeah, not on, not on the football field. That is interesting to hear. Very interesting.